guys welcome back to my channel I hope you are all doing well so I'm excited for fall I'm just gonna say that right now I am so excited for fall so since I am unable to contain my excitement I decided to kind of do like a fall inspired or like a fall preview look because I know this is gonna be like my signature look for the next few months and I just can't wait to start wearing these colors and the whole vibe you know if if you're a fall girl you get me let me know down below what your favorite thing about fall is because I just love everything everything you guys I'm not even kidding so if you want to see how I got this look please keep watching okay guys we are starting with a nice moisturized clean face and that's the condition of my skin right now, not too many breakouts either. So then I'm going in with my favorite primer, the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. And I just really dab that into my skin and into my T-zones. If you've seen my other tutorials, nothing has changed, I'm still obsessed. Now I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and I am wearing shade 102. And I'm applying that with a Cover FX Stippling Foundation Brush. It's really small and tiny, so it takes quite a bit to like really get your finish down and everything blended, but it's all right. And then I still had some acne showing through and I wanted to cover it up, so I'm taking that same foundation and just putting a double layer on those spots where I need it. No extra concealer, just using the double layer of foundation to do the same thing, basically. Since I am super fair right now, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Weightless Concealer. And this is in shade 01 Fair. So you can tell that it's really brightening. It is very light. So I would recommend this to even fairer skin girls or girls who are more pale than me. This might really work for you as a under eye brightening concealer. So I am just putting that over underneath my eye and on my eyelid to kind of act like a primer. And then blending out with the Beauty Blender. I also put a little bit on my chin and around my mouth just to keep the whole center of my face really bright. And then I'll put some up in between my eyebrows too. I'm going to set all that with my favorite powder ever and it is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And I just put a ton of it underneath my eyes to kind of bake in the same process. So I put a ton of it underneath my eyes but by the time we're done with everything else it just sets in gorgeously. I am going to fill my brows using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe. And now we are moving on to eyeshadow. For the transition shade, I'm going in with peanut butter, and that's from the Too Faced, <laughs> Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. And I'm taking that on a Sigma E35. And I'm just really buffing in and making this color really like intense. So I'll probably go back in three or four times with peanut butter just to get it that orange and deep. To highlight, I am going in with MAC Shroom and it is my favorite highlight. It is just pure white crisp gold on your brow. So get that highlight for sure. And then to brighten up my lid, I am going in with Grandstand and it is a Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow and I just applied it using my finger and it really made the pigmentation really bright and nice. So use your finger, it works best. To deepen it up a little bit more, I am taking a tapered crease brush and I'm taking chocolate from the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and it's more just a rich brown color and I'm concentrating that directly into the crease. So where Grandstand and Peanut Butter would meet, just run some dark brown eyeshadow in there and it'll really deepen things up and it'll make your look more intense. To make sure all my edges were blended, I took that same Sigma E35 and I just ran that all over that peanut butter shade to make sure it was nice and blended. So that's it for the eyes, a pretty orange smoky eye. To warm up my face, I am going in with Benefit Hoola as always and my NARS Eda brush. And to find my cheekbones, I just turn my mouth to like the opposing side and that really gives me the direct line of where I need my contour to be. For those people with a rounder face, maybe try that trick because sometimes just the duck face is like too much. If you just turn your lips to the opposite side, like turn your lips to the left to contour your right side, it really works for me. But yeah, okay. So I'm taking that onto my forehead and on my temples and really pressing that into my hairline also. And this is just going to make your forehead appear smaller and just provide like an overall warmth and healthiness to your face. 
to make sure my contour is always on point and not too low. I always clean up the edges with whatever is left on my like under eye setting brush. And I just, yeah, clean up the edges. It really works. For blush, I'm going to be going in with MAC Melba. And it's just a really peachy pink blush. And it's so pretty. This look really made me fall back in love with that blush. So I recommend that also. I want my lower lash line really bold and smoky so I'm taking the peanut butter shade on a larger brush and it's more like a blending brush and I'm just focusing that all underneath my eye. So I'm really just putting that everywhere and this bigger brush really blends it out like automatically. But then I thought that I wanted a little bit of a deeper chocolate and so I took a more um, concentrated like smaller tip brush and I put the brown shade closest to my lash line. To highlight my inner corner, I am going in again with MAC Shroom. It's just my favorite, you guys. It's, it's so perfect. So I went ahead and applied some mascara. And now for my falsies, I am giving my Iconics a break. And I'm going in with House of Lashes Temptress Wispy. So these are very just pretty natural lashes. They are really long and wispy at the end. So they are not as like overpowering as iconic lashes are. They're just more kind of like fluttery and wispy. I'm also lining my eyes with Marc Jacobs Gel Liner in Black. I've said this before. You guys need this liner. It stays on so well. It's incredible. For my highlight, I'm going in with Becca Champagne Pop per the usual and I'm just taking that on the highest points of my cheekbones and I'm, I'm applying that with a blush brush and I've just been liking that lately like it, there's no lines whatsoever so I'm also taking that above my eyebrows and I'm gonna put a little bit on the dot like tip 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 of my nose and then I'll also put it on my cupid's bow For the perfect fall lip color, I am going in with Kat Von D Everlasting Lipstick in Damned. And it is this perfect deep red brown shade that just blows my mind. It makes your teeth look like incredibly white too and the formula is just awesome. You guys saw me wear this on my previous video with the Everlasting Lipstick Swatches. So that completes the look. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!